Hey! Hello! Has this ever happened to you? You fall in love with photography, you buy a camera, spend your hard-earned cash, you shoot everything in sight, and then your camera collects dust because the love just isn't there. Well, have no fear, because we, we are, are here. here. So dust off your camera and bring out your gear. Whoa! Whoa! Freestyle! Freestyle! Monday! It's the photographers. We're the photographers. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome to Rap Mondays. What's up, y'all? We rappers now, you know what I mean? We be freestyling mixtapes and everything, yeah, you know what I mean? No more photographers. You know what I mean? But today, guys, we're gonna get you guys inspired. We're gonna show you how to stay inspired when you're taking pictures. Yeah, so, goddamn light. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys how to stay inspired because we found out that a lot of times when you get your gear, you buy your cameras, um, they just end up collecting dust. Yeah, so it's like, you know when your ex-girlfriend, in the beginning, the hype was so high, you're so excited, you're so in love with her, but then, I don't know, just slowly just kind of faded off. It's the same thing with your equipment. So we're gonna teach you how to stay in love. Treat her right, okay? Yeah. God damn, the you lights, man, what's going on? Tip one, take a camera wherever you go. Come on, babe, let's go. Yes, guys, take your camera everywhere you go. Don't forget about it, it's like your wallet. Yeah, like your wallet, your keys, your cell phone, all of them kind of things, you know? You need that to take your pictures. Yeah, because you never know what you're going to see. If you go downtown, or if you go to a party, you go to a bar, you just go traveling, whatever the case is, you never know what you're going to see. And you're going to always miss every shot that you don't take. And when you... <laughs> Gone. That's it. Take your camera everywhere you go. The bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. no. I'm this sorry. No bathroom. Next scene. We're done. Swipe. Hold on, swipe back, swipe back. This way, this way. Oh. So listen, don't overcomplicate things. You don't need every single lens. Just use whatever it is you have and just make it happen and make it work. Swipe back. Tip two. It's Get all about that, man. Ah. Come on. It's all about personal shoots. Personalization, baby. Keep it personal. Now I mean personality. And that's what matters. Yeah, because when you start shooting stuff that you're genuinely interested in, you stay inspired. So find something that you're interested in. Uh, me, I'm interested in fitness, so I shoot the bar stars all the time. Me, I want to change the world, so I went out to Kenya. I got some epic pictures out there when I was volunteering. So that's what it is. Find whatever it is that is interesting to you that you find personal. It could be your parents, could be pets, could be your mom, could be your dad. Yeah, your dog, your grandma, your little kid, whatever. Your little bug on the street, whatever you like. I mean, just shoot. The main thing, so find what you're interested in and just keep shooting it. BAM! Tip three try something new. You know what I mean? Like my new hairstyle. So, guys, don't be afraid to try new things. You know, you want to get a new haircut, try a new thing, try it out. You never know, like, you know, Manny tried out his haircut, he thinks it's stylish. Really looks like a fool. No. But it's all good. At least he tried it. Yeah, that's, that's the what, thing. That's you know? what counts. People are gonna tell you you're a fool when you're taking these weird type of shots, but who cares? Try them. Think of new concepts, new angles, new everything. Shoot at different times of the days. Try just try different things. New locations, new everything. You gotta constantly switch it up. Cause when you're doing the same thing, you're gonna get bored. You switch it up, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, and you're gonna keep that inspiration really high. Yo! Don't be a hater! Show some love! What the hell are you doing on set, man? Get out of here. Bro! You said don't hate, bro! You're supposed to show some love, dog! Don't hate, people! Show some love! Yeah, love, appreciation, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So when you're following other photographers, it's cool to check out their work. Yeah, like sometimes people think, oh, I don't want to check them out, or they're my competition. But it's cool to check out people's work, it inspires you, check out different types of blogs. It's all good. And remember, don't compare like your chapter 2 to their chapter like 20, right? So you gotta understand, you're, everyone's at different levels when they start out. This guy, you hearing these lines? Moment. Chapter 2 to... Yeah! <laughs> Bod! But yeah. Check out other photographers, man, don't yeah, And don't get depressed when you see someone else has better work than you. Like, it doesn't matter. Just, just look at them for inspiration. Yeah. And don't copy their work either. Yeah, don't copy it. Don't copy our work. Yeah. <laughs> Tip five, baby. Learn how to take criticism. Unless you're perfect like me, not me. You can't criticize this. What? <laughs> Guys, you gotta learn how to take criticism. Watch this. 
You suck, bro. At least I'm trying. See, that's how you take criticism. Positivity, people. And so what you need to do is when you're taking pictures, maybe find a group of friends that can maybe critique your work and provide constructive criticism. Yeah, or put your work into competitions and stuff like that and get feedback from other people. Because once you get feedback from people, it gives you an idea of where you are as a photographer. And an easy way to start is open an Instagram account. Make it primarily photography. Not like your personal stuff, but just like the stuff that you're actually shooting. And maybe set a goal, like one post every day or one post every week. Because something small to kind of get you going. Yeah, because once you start getting comments and likes, that in itself is inspiration. Because once you see people like, oh my god, this is amazing, or this is great. It just makes you want to do more. So remember, criticism is all good people. Take it wisely. Are you inspired yet? If huh? not, watch the video again. Again and again and again repeat, until repeat, you get inspired. Repeat. Inspiration. But yes, guys. Hopefully you guys are inspired. Hopefully these pointers will help you out. Remember, try new things. Follow people. Don't hate. And the first start is just take that camera, wipe all that dust off, and start shooting. Dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Bro. Like, why you gotta bring your song into my song? Bro, Jay Z, bro, I'm, man. I don't care. Who it's sings my like song? Chick flicks, bro. I don't know. Whatever. You dust your shoulders off. Aaliyah said it. Try again. And that's all you gotta do. And we'll see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, subscribe to us on YouTube. YouTube like us on Instagram. Facebook. All that kind of stuff. Comment below about anything else you want to see in the future. And that's, that's it.